Hi, this is William Rue, and I'm excited to share with you my second collection for Free Spirit Fabrics called Log Tavern Road, 16 super saturated prints that celebrate small town America. Let's get started. The main print um, is called Milltown. This is um, the starting print that we made that had a lot of line work, a lot of super saturated colors with orange and pink and red. And this color uh, that is the line work in this one is a, a brown um, with some very kind of pale gray uh, roofs. A lot of fun. There's two versions of this. Uh, there's another uh, version called Moonlight that is a smaller scale and has four different uh, shades of blue. Uh, these kind of um, pale gray blues and then a little bit more saturated blue like a navy which is in the line work. We have two prints called Waterlogged. Waterlogged was inspired by actually the edges of these logs in the mill town. And if you look really closely, you will be able to see some kind of a, a slight rectangular motif within it that looks like uh, the edge of a two by four. This print has uh, pink and orange some pale uh, grayish pinks, and then a kind of a brownish uh, red as the deep color. Um, it's got two scales. The pink one is called Peony, it's smaller, and we made a larger scale in blue. The blue one is called Hyacinth. So uh, this one looks more like water, like if it's a dappled uh, river or lake, or it could be perceived as sky. But it has a, a, there are about seven different uh, variations of blue in this. Uh, it's one of my favorite in the collection. Now, the town this is inspired uh, by is a town called Milford, Pennsylvania. It's about an hour and a half from New York, and I do a lot of work there. As an architect, uh, when we start projects, we always are making what are called uh, massing models. Uh, and there was a house I did there where we had to play with the configurations of uh, historic buildings within a site. So we made these plaster massing models, and that's used, um, that was in the inspiration for this print called Model Home. Uh, it's done in green, and if you look at this one really close, uh, it's got a lot of texture and depth within it. So it goes from teal to dark green and black, even some yellow, a uh, big range of color. And then we literally blew it up to uh, make every color of the rainbow, this super saturated psychedelic um, theme, uh, and then we call it atomic. So it's a lot of fun, would be great for children's uh, quilts, and then also just anything that's playful, throw pillows that you need a lot of color, uh, dense, dense, dense color. As an architect, I'm always uh, drawing little scale figures, and it's part of uh, um, kind of the small town American life. So we had uh, two prints, one called Friends and Neighbors. This one is called Butter. We did a second version, same scale, but we only used the line work. And this one is called Family Reunion. The color is called Burgundy. So these are more of a basic uh, that can provide a little uh, uh, respite uh, for the more colorful uh, prints in the collection. I would consider these uh, a little calmer than what we were doing uh, elsewhere. Now, one of the things that I always like when I'm traveling in the United States is when you fly over the Midwest and also the West, you see these irrigation circles. So small town American life has tons of farming. And so that's uh, what inspired this one. These are called crop circles. This is probably um, one of the earliest prints we made in the collection where it has these uh, little circles and you can see they look like little farming plots, uh, but they're not just green. There's uh, little bits of burgundy played against the, the blues and then some ochre. So there's a big color range within these. This green one is called Spring and we made a version called Autumn. So if you ever see me wearing a crazy shirt at one of the quilting events, it's probably gonna be made out of this one. The repeat on this one is very, very big. So you, you can use it as a quilt back and it looks like um, the pattern never repeats. Um, there's probably, uh, an un, uh, infinite number of colors in this one. Uh, one of my favorite prints in the collection. Now we push the crop circles motif to a larger scale to almost create this watercolor type uh, print. This one is called Watermark and the color is called Ink Wash. If you look at it very closely, you'll see that it looks as if the ink, it's kind of ink stained. It kind of has this um, uh, watercolor paper effect to it. Uh, really cool, really versatile, has a lot of beautiful colors, lilac, these kind of hot pinks, and then some really, really deep purples. Our fourth uh, kind of thematic uh, print that goes with those three is, is this one called Marbles. 
Uh, the color for this is called Kaleidoscope. And if you're seeing any consistency in what I'm doing, we have some prints that are super saturated with a rainbow of colors, uh, with really strong geometries. And then we have some other ones that are calmer. So the, these uh, four that we just looked at basically work together as kind of a, a mini collection. You know, you have, if you ever wanted to make a quilt that had kind of a thematic geometry within the collection, there are these four that have circles of different scales, color, and kind of blurriness. And so it's a lot of fun to play with them as a, as a group. We have two prints called Bunchberry. Uh, this is Bunchberry Scarlet. Uh, within this, you have pinks and oranges and, and dark reds. Uh, and if you look closely, you'll probably find, I think we did 32 of these patterns. They look like they're all the same, but they're actually hand-drawn and unique. So it, it kind of gives it a homogenous feel, but also can make it look kind of hand-drawn. We did it at a, a smaller scale. This one is called Indigo. Uh, it's a dark blue against a pale blue, uh, really pretty uh, calming uh, print. And in most of my collections, we're doing some type of stripe. And this one is called Homespun. Uh, the color is called Harvest. And again, it's consistent with the other parts of the theme because it, it hits all the color notes. And I'll show you an interesting way that you can use this for sashing or borders in a bit. And our final print is called Sunrise to Sunset. Now it's hard to see this just because of the screen, but it goes from this beautiful red orange all the way to these, it looks like uh, gas flames, through it flips over and becomes a blue that then transitions into yellow. So this is an extraordinary uh, piece of fabric that I'm gonna show you some interesting ways you can use this. Um, I always am working on making the quilt fabrics that I wanna play with in my own quilt making uh, that typically uses solids and, and big geometries. And I'm always looking for some type of uh, uh, punchy print that gives me a lot of versatility against the geometric things that I'm working with. Now, I told you a second ago about the homespun. This, these pieces, this sashing, is basically cut from the homespun fabric. And within a, a small um, half yard, you get a lot of the sashing strips. Uh, so you might want to use it for that in addition to like a fill. But what's cool about it is depending on where you cut it, the nature of the fabric can radically change. So I'm showing it against red to kind of push that out as much as you can see. But this is the same fabric. This is the same material. It's called homespun harvest. And within that piece of fabric, you get such versatility. And that's what I wanted to show, show you there. Now, finally, um, I wanted to show something I was working on. This is with the sunrise to sunset. Within that sunrise to sunset, you get, again, a very big range of, of design uh, possibilities. So I was working on these little bird pillows here. I don't know if you can get it all on the screen. But the idea was to use the pattern itself, the fabric, to kind of create a bird feather or um, some other type of motif in a different way. The circles could almost be interpreted as where the bird's eye goes. And then I tried this out, the same idea, with um, the same fabric. Again, this is still the sunrise to sunset, within one yard, you get all these different colors played against another piece in the collection. This time against a gray, same fabric against a blue, and then we have a crop circles. Same fabric against the, um, the bubble gum. So uh, the marbles uh, in Kaleidoscope. Now the other thing that I wanted to show is this stuff uh, could be used as borders in a lot of interesting ways. So depending on how you want to play with it, this homespun has, it can be sashing, it can be borders, it can be in the body of the quilt. And so there's a lot of interesting things that you can do with the collection. Uh, I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with for uh, Log Tavern Road. So uh, thanks for uh, listening to, uh, to all our ideas about the collection. I can't wait to see what you do with it.